everyone. How are you doing? Well, welcome to another Preschool Praise. I hope you're ready for this. I am. I've been looking forward to being together this morning. And I thought we'd begin today by singing a song about Jesus, our super saviour. Jesus, who saves us from sin and death. So why don't you jump up and join in with Holly now? of our exciting story about Joseph, who was taken to Egypt. Now, if you've forgotten the first part of the story, don't worry, you can always watch the earlier sessions of Preschool Praise and catch up. But I'll do a little reminder now. So, here is Joseph with a coat of many colours. Joseph also had 11 brothers. He was loved very much by his dad, but this made his brothers really mad. So the brothers got together and came up with a plan to sell Joseph as a slave to a far off land. Poor, poor Joseph, off he's taken to slavery and prison, all forsaken. So Joseph's life was very stormy. And bad things happened to him, and he must have felt very weak and alone, especially when he was in prison. But God was with him. So we're going to sing our song now about when life is stormy, that reminds us that when things are difficult, God is with us. We need to remember that. God is with us. Let's sing. With our action song today, We've got to make our arms look like it's really stormy. So we're going to make it go in a big circle in front of us. And as the storm calms down, the circle will get smaller and smaller and smaller. Are you ready? When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. I am weak, but he is strong, helping me to carry on. When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. When it's stormy, 
When it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. I am weak, but he is strong, helping me to carry on. When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. When it's stormy, when it's stormy. When it's stormy all around me, when it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me, I am weak, but he is strong, helping me to carry on. When it's stormy, when it's stormy, when it's stormy all around me. Now in the far off land, Pharaoh had strange dreams and God helped Joseph to tell him what they mean. For years there'd be crops and food would appear. Then for seven long years, the famine would be severe. I need you, said Pharaoh, and placed Joseph in command. You must store the food now and feed my whole land. So Joseph was no longer a slave, but in charge of collecting all the food so they'd be ready for when the famine came. And Pharaoh gave him a ring and a gold chain and a collar to wear. So I'm going to wear my collar, the one we made last week. I'll pop that on and I'm going to wear that while we sit and listen to the story and find out what happened next. Just as God said, the crops grew well for seven years and Joseph gathered all the extra food and placed it in the storehouses. Then came the seven years when the crops did not grow. It was time to open up the storehouses and the people came and bought food from Joseph. So everyone in Egypt still had plenty to eat. But back in the land of Canaan, where Joseph's family lived, there was no food left. They were very hungry. So Jacob told his sons to travel to Egypt to buy some corn. When they arrived in Egypt, Joseph recognised them, but they did not know it was Joseph, as it was many years since they'd last seen him. The brothers asked to buy corn and bowed down before him. They bowed down before Joseph just as Joseph dreamed they would years before. Joseph was very upset to see his brothers again, but he did not tell them who he was. He ordered his servants to load the donkeys with food and he secretly gave back the money the brothers had paid for the corn. So when the brothers arrived home, they opened their sacks and saw the money. They could not understand why it had been given back to them. For some time, the family had enough to eat, but eventually everything was used up and they decided to go back to Egypt to buy more. When the brothers arrived, Joseph saw them and ordered his steward to prepare a meal for them. They enjoyed the meal, but they still did not recognise Joseph. And then at last, Joseph said, Look, it's me, your brother Joseph. The brothers were amazed and then very afraid. They had sold Joseph as a slave, but now maybe he would sell them. And they bowed down before him. But Joseph said, Do not be afraid. You meant to hurt me, but God used the bad thing you did to bring good. God was in control all along and he had a plan that I would be able to save us all from starving. Joseph forgave his brothers and they hugged each other and cried with joy. Then Joseph told them to hurry back to Canaan and bring back to Egypt Jacob his father and all the rest of the family so that they could all live with him in Egypt. 
when they travelled back to Egypt, Joseph rushed out in his chariot to meet his father. Jacob was overjoyed. His son was not dead after all. They were together again at last. Well, Joseph realised that God had been in charge all the time. The brothers had meant to hurt him, but God had a plan to use Joseph to save his whole family. God looked after Joseph and God looks after you and me too. And I've an action rhyme I'd like to share with you now. And you might remember it because we've used it before. And it goes like this. God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. Should we say that all together? You ready? God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. Well done, everyone. Well, I think we should do that once more, but in really loud voices. So are you ready? God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. Now, God is good to us. God loves us and cares for us because we are part of his family, part of the big family of God. And we've a new song this morning that's, be, that's about being part of God's big family. So why don't you sing that with Holly now and you can do the actions. There's plenty of actions in this one. Let's sing. <laughs> It's time for something to make. And last week we made those Egyptian collars. This week we're going to make a headband. And for this you need a long strip of yellow thick paper or thin card. And you need to measure this round your head so you have the right size. 
Now, if you haven't a long, a long enough piece of paper, you can always make two strips and then stick them together like this with a bit of tape. And then you can measure round, measure round your head and get the right size. I'll clip that off a bit because that will be too big. There we are. Then you can you can measure that. But before you stick it together completely, we're going to decorate it. And for this, you need to draw a line along the full length of your collar, like uh, your headband, like this. Get right to the end. There we are. And then we're going to colour this little strip in bright yellow so that it looks like gold. So you need to colour the whole way along. I've already done that on this one. And now it's ready to decorate. And I'm going to decorate mine looking a bit like I made the collar. I'm going to have some red rubies, some green emer emeralds and some blue lapis lazuli. But I'll just join those two together. Ready? There we are. Now, let's have a look. I think I'll put red ones like this. Maybe go in a zigzag pattern all along like that and then add in some green ones you can choose and make it however you wish and then the blue will need to go here Right, and you do that along the whole strip. And so you do that along the whole length of your headband. And when you've finished, you measure it again round your head and then just tape it together with a little bit of sticky tape. And now you have a headband and a collar. And you will look like a real Egyptian. You'll look like Joseph when Pharaoh made him second in command. And I hope you enjoy making this. And when you wear it, you can remember that Joseph's brothers meant to harm him. But God helped Joseph. And then Joseph helped his family. Well, do send in the pictures of the things you make. And you can send those to Preschool Praise at stm, stm dot org dot uk and then we can all see them and enjoy them it's now time for our blessing song so why not link arms or hold hands with those around you Well, we've reached the end of our story about Joseph and we've also reached the end of our time together today but we'll be back again soon and we'll have more stories from the Bible, true stories 
about our wonderful God. So I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care of yourselves. God bless you and bye-bye.